All right, these last two problems that we're going to look at um, ask us to find the equation of a couple of lines. And they've given us, um, for instance, they've given us this picture. Now, we could look at things a couple of different ways. In the last example that we had, they gave us two points and asked us to write the equation of the line between them. Now, we could do the same thing. We could label this as our x1, y1 and our x2, y2, and we could find the slope and then plug it into our formula. But hopefully, you recognize that this is a horizontal line. And every single horizontal line comes in the form of y equals something. These are things that you, you just have to learn to memorize. So what does the y value equal throughout this entire line? Well, it looks like it equals a 3, doesn't it? So y will equal 3. Now, if you went through and did the, the slope between these two points, you would see that the slope is 0. So um, you could, you know, because you would say m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and then that would mean uh, 3 minus 3 over 1 minus a negative 4. Well, right here, this tells you that the slope is going to be 0 because it's 0 on top. If you were to plug this now into our formula for writing the equation of lines, we would have y minus our y1, which is 3, equals the slope, which is 0, times x minus the x1, which is negative 4. Now, we don't even have to finish this out necessarily because 0 times anything is 0. So at this point, we have y minus 3 equals 0. And if we add 3 to both sides to get y alone, y will equal 3. This is why the equation of every single horizontal line is y equals some number. So once you really get that down pat into your head, you don't have to go through that if you know that this is a horizontal line. Now, for the next one, oops, move to the next one, there we go, we're going to have the same type of scenario. We could, again, label this as x1, y1, and x2, y2, and then we could find the slope so y2 would be negative 2 minus y1 would be 4 over x2 would be 2 minus x1 would be 2. But at this point, we see that we have a 0. Oops. Do that again. We have a 0 in our denominator. Oh, isn't that lovely? When we have a 0 in the denominator, that tells us that this is undefined. So, uh, Defined. I can't spell either. So, because this is undefined, it's much, much more difficult to show how that works in that um, point slope form uh, because you really can't multiply by something that's undefined. So, we do have to know that since this is an undefined slope, this means that this has to be a vertical line. And every single vertical line comes in the form of x equals some number. Well, in this case, you'll notice that the x values are both 2. They will be 2 along this entire line. So our equation here is x equals 2. Getting down pat those vertical and horizontal lines is just absolutely crucial.